All right, so the FDA is sending out a new warning about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. The agency says the shot has been linked to a rare autoimmune disease called Guillain-Barre syndrome, or GBS. Now, the FDA says it's seen 100 preliminary reports of GBS out of nearly 13 million people who have gotten the J&J &J shot. 95% of those people went to the hospital. One person died. Again, one in 13 million. Now, most of the cases, 113 million, most of the cases have appeared two weeks after vaccination, and they're largely in men age 50 and older, according to the CDC. Now, you know that we're all about facts, not fear. At WUSA 9, joining me now to talk about what you need to know, Dr. Amish Adalja, senior scholar at the Johns Hopkins Center for Health Security. Doctor, as always, thanks for joining us here on the Q&A. So the FDA says the evidence suggests a link between the J&J &J shot and an increased risk of GBS. Just not enough to show a definitive cause and effect. What, what's your take on this? Do you think the agency made the right call with this warning? I do think they made the right call because what we want to show the public is that there is a lot of attention to the safety profile of these COVID-19 vaccines, that our surveillance systems are very sensitive and they're going to pick up things and they're going to take action and warn the public and alert clinicians about even very rare side effects such as Guillain-Barre syndrome. So I think this is the, the right thing to do. We want people to know that there's transparency and that we are monitoring aggressively for any safety signal that might emerge. You know, this is a rare condition, but obviously not something that, that anyone would want. I wonder if we're at the point now in this vaccination process, if, if people have a choice between getting the Johnson & Johnson vaccine or a different one, would you suggest that they shy away from the J&J? &J? Are we at that point? No, I don't think that we're at the point where I would steer people away from the J&J &J vaccine. I'm still recommending it to my to my friends and people who, who need to be vaccinated. It's a single dose vaccine. It has very attractive qualities and it seems to be durable and holding up even against some of the, our, our variants. So I'm not telling people to shy away from it. I think if you're really concerned about Guillain-Barre syndrome, you have options and it's great that we have options, but I think this is still a safe and efficacious vaccine. And if you look at the risk benefit ratio, this is still something that's favoring the vaccine tremendously. Remember, there's still hundreds of people dying every day from COVID-19 in the United States. We still have tens of thousands of cases. We're being faced with more uh, worrisome variants. So this is a vaccine that is a solution. It's a one-shot uh, vaccine. So I think it's still a good vaccine. It's taken some, some hits because of rare side effects. But the important thing to remember is it's rare. And the risk-benefit calculation is still something that really favors this uh, vaccine. So I suppose that you would lean more on this FDA warning for a patient who is a man over 50 than, than you might for a 25-year-old woman. Right, but then with a 25-year-old woman, I might worry about the, the blood clotting disorder. So I, I think what's happened now is we've got three different vaccines approved in the United States. So there's a menu, and I think it's important if people have concerns and they're vaccine hesitant, to talk to your doctors, to talk to infectious disease physicians, and try and work through those different side effect profiles of the different vaccines and figure out which vaccine works. But the, the bottom line is you should get one of those vaccines and, and I do think if you're worried about Guillain-Barre syndrome and you're a, a male over the age of 50, yes, there are other options. You can get the Moderna and Pfizer vaccine and vice versa. If you're a female worried about blood clotting, you've got Moderna and Pfizer. Or if you're a 19-year-old boy uh, and you're worried about myocarditis with the Moderna and Pfizer vaccines, you've got Johnson & Johnson. So there's ways to, to navigate all of the different risk profiles, but all of the risks of all three of these vaccines are, are minuscule when compared to the benefit that they provide at fighting COVID-19. Right, that's the key thing. That's the point that we continue to underscore. The, the, the risks of these vaccines are outweighed by the risks of not getting the vaccine and what could happen if you do end up with COVID. Dr. Amish Adalja from Johns Hopkins, we certainly appreciate your time as always. Thank you for your expertise. Thanks for having me.